Hey Alexa, this here is Hugo, a brand new robot by Hubo, aka a company known as Morbot. Now Hubo is actually kind of interesting just because it's a company that's created Alexa with an I. Literally that's what it is. I didn't get that. Yeah, I know. It's kind of interesting to task, but the idea of it is kind of interesting. It has a fully built 1080p HD camera built into it that you can go ahead and access it on the go, meaning you can go ahead and use Alexa in the sense of turning on your lights, your devices, but you can also go ahead and use it as a security device at the same time. So it's actually a very interesting idea. Now, this will be available in the market soon, so if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now, Morbot aka Hubel is a company we've seen before that's also created the infamous Zeus. This here is one of the most highly technological advanced robots of its time. It's a fighting robot. So seeing what they do with that particular robot based on what this is, is kind of interesting. Now they also go ahead and up the ante, meaning you could go ahead and customize the robot uh, based on a third party company. You can even go ahead and buy outfits for it. I mean, look at that, it's super cute. Uh, so you can go ahead and customize it and design anything you want. They have a lot of different variations. Uh, this here is like a blue looking robot. It's actually very, very cute. So the idea of it is kind of fun and it just give it a little bit more of a twist on the whole Alexa aspect. So with that being said, let's go ahead and rewind, unbox this thing, see what it's all about. So this here is our Hugo. Uh, the box itself is actually pretty nicely sized. Uh, you do see Hugo kind of smiling about. Now the key thing is that it is an Alexa device, so it does have all the capabilities of Alexa with a bit of a twist. Now it has over 15,000 skills, so you can go ahead and have a variety of different features. Now let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So we have ourselves uh, an instruction guide. Uh, so you just download the app there, set it up with your Alexa and Amazon account, and then you're good to go. So there's our Hugo and a charging cable. So this here is our Hugo. Uh, he has his eyes closed at the moment. Uh, it says Hugo on the front, and then over here you have your power button. On the back here you have your power port. On the top here you have sens uh, touch sensors. So you have a, a plus, a minus, and a mute. So you can increase the volume, decrease the volume, as well as mute it. Uh, you have an SD card or a micro SD card a slot on the back as well, so you can go ahead and program it as well. And essentially it just works off of the app. Now it does have a full 360 range of motion, uh, so keep that in mind. And yeah, let's go ahead and hit the power button next. All right, so this here is the Hugo app. Uh, this allows us to go ahead and see what Hugo's seeing as well as more explore more features with it. Now a monitor will allow me to go ahead and see exactly what Hugo is seeing. So you can see that we can go ahead and look uh, up and down and left and right. So it does give us a full 360 range of motion in terms of what this robot can see. So you can go all the way back and look up. And you can see that it does shoot at 1080p, which is actually pretty good for quality for what this robot is. So essentially if I'm not home, or if I have Hugo set up somewhere and I can always go ahead and access him when I'm out and about. Now we can also go ahead and hear what Hugo's hearing. Uh, we can take photos and then we can actually talk through Hugo. That's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. All right, uh, moving back. Uh, so Hugo just closed his eyes. This is for privacy sake. Now we can always go ahead and do other features such as asking questions. Uh, so for instance, uh, we can do face detection as well. So essentially what face recognition does, it allows you to go ahead and do different tasks. For instance, if I ask Hugo to take a picture of conflicts, it will go ahead and start looking for me and once it sees me, it will take a picture of me. So that's actually pretty nice as well. Now you do have the full features with Alexa. For instance, Alexa, what's the weather like? It's 33 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 33 degrees and a low of 17 degrees. Yeah, not bad. Now we can also go ahead and use other features. For instance, if we ask, hey Alexa, ask Hubel to play lullabies. Getting lullaby station from iHeartRadio. Alexa, what's two plus two? 2 plus 2 equals 4. So you'll see that as it's talking, uh, the mouth will start moving. So that's actually pretty nice. So it does give it a more of like a humanistic kind of feature. So that's kind of fun. You know, you get the whole Alexa vibe, but you also get the features of a Hugo, meaning you get a actual eye where you can see things through it. Alexa, ask Hugo to close eyelid. 
So overall, you have to say that it's actually a pretty cool product. You know, I love the safety feature where it closes the eyelid. Uh, so whenever you talk to it, it'll go ahead and open up again. So like, hey Alexa, it opens up just like that. So, you know, it's kind of nice that it does have that humanistic feel to it. Uh, and then it'll go back to sleep when you're not using it. It's also important to note that there's a company out there that makes costumes for these robots. Now on the right hand side here, we have a blue version of the robot. Now it's literally a rubber compound, as you can see right here. It's very, very flexible and very durable. And it just goes ahead and go on top of the robot and it still has full capability of controls go. Meaning on the back here, you have the touch sensor port as well as the speaker. And on the bottom here, you do have a power button as well as a power sensor port on the bottom too. Now it's got feet, it's got arms, uh, it has capability to go ahead and move itself all around the 360 motion, so that's very nice. And yeah, it's actually a very nice touch, I would say, in terms of giving the robot more of a humanistic or characteristic feel. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you had any questions about the Alexa with the eye, aka Hugo, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.